Hello, everybody. Welcome to another great episode of Distilled, Brewed, and Reviewed. Yeah. My name is John, and we are in my world-famous sipping den where I do everything that has anything to do with alcohol on this channel. Everything. And everything that has anything to do with coffee, I am the only one in the world that can do it. I have a playlist that I challenge you. I dare you to check it out and not like it. You're going to love it. I promise you're going to love that playlist. That's all I'm going to say about it. Should I even ask for a sub or do I know that once you see this video and you check out the playlist, you're going to do it anyway? I'll leave it there. Now, first comment of every video I do is always pinned because it has a link to the playlist that pertains to what I'm doing. In this case, bourbon whiskey. Mm. Good old bourbon whiskey. And I am in Kentucky. I'm in the heart of it. And I have spent a large portion of my life dedicated to this industry. So, here we are. Today, I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm doing Luca Mariano, their signature bourbon. 113 proof, 56.5% ABV. I've been wanting to try this forever. I've been interested in the whole distillery and the guy who owns it and all like this. Finally, Ricky Skoog, a VIP of the channel, buys this bottle and says, sample it, take some home with you. I want you to try it on me. Yeah. So now he's become a VIP of this channel. And we are going to give a shout out to Ricky Skoog. S-K-O-O-G. Ricky. Best beard in the world, by the way. I think he filters a special kind of vodka through that a hundred times. I don't know. He's got a beard. You know, he's got the great beard. All right. Here's the sample that Ricky gave me. Now, could have took more. I didn't want to be a hog. Right? He said, help yourself. That's enough to get it tasted. What is this? It's in Danville, all right? The guy bought 300 acres in Danville. Um, he hired David Phillips as his master distiller. He previously worked at Jim Beam and at Bullet. He bought this 300 acres. It's got an old stone house called the Crow House. It's the oldest stone house in Kentucky. It might be the oldest house in Kentucky. I don't know. It's something like that. I know it's the oldest stone house and the oldest something else. He's restoring it, so it's going to be cool someday. He's got a beautiful rick house. He's got it set up away where the air goes, all this cool stuff. I, I, you're going to have to do some of your own research. I'm going to get it. spend an hour talking about this place. I've been waiting forever. Uh, the guy's name is Francesco uh, S. Viola. That's the owner. The name Luca Mariano is different names. I think uh, Mariano was his grandfather. Luca was maybe his son. So he does that kind of thing going on. Start distillery in 2010. Oh, no, he started distilling in 2010 in his garage. 2017, he bought the acreage, and he's been rolling since then. Uh, I think the rest, we should just get into it. It's a very interesting uh, place if you want to check it out. I know he's got uh, a single barrel. Get what the strength is. It's pretty good. He's got a, what I would call it, just a normal bourbon. Um, a no single barrel, just a blended. Uh, that's uh, very good for bars and stuff like that. It's the right proof for that. He's got this cast strength that we're doing today. He's got a rye, a couple of ryes. Um, putting out some good stuff. Putting out a lot of stuff. Um, like I said, I've been wanting to try it for a while. And then Ricky comes through. That's amazing. Right. Now, what I want you to do is just take a all his stuff's a minimum of four years old. All right. And let's give it a smell. It's the least we can do. Ooh. Tell you right now. A lot of caramel on it. Caramel. Caramel candy. Rich, gooey, creamy caramel right here, ladies and gentlemen. And I like caramel, and I like cherry, and damn it, I'm getting both of them. Getting oak, of course, wood, but not overpowering. You know, the cedar, the oak, whatever, however you want to describe it. It's put in brand new charred oak container, wood, barrel, American oak, white, per law. Um, but it's not overpowering with the oak. I don't like it overpowering. I want it there. It adds complexity. It's bourbon, right? But I don't want it too much. I don't want to be chewing on a toothpick. And this is mingled in nice with the caramel and the cherry. I 
I don't know the uh, mash bill. Has some sweetness coming through, of course. Brown sugar, honey. Mouth's warm. So let's get into it. I got to taste it. I'm dying to taste it. I'm doing an acclimation sip, and then we'll get into it. We don't talk about it yet. It's just the acclimation sip. Yeah, very important you do that. Very important. Now, let's smell it again. A little more of that oak. Still the same old flavor shining too. Beautiful. Let's give it another a taste now for the real deal. Cherry pipe tobacco. Very interesting. A lot of flavor in this. Cedar. Cherry pipe tobacco. Spicy cinnamon. Sweet honey to kind of coat it down. Brown sugar and honey kind of mixed together. Dilute brown sugar with honey. But only put a little in so it's not overpowering. But that flavor that you would get. No, it's nice, isn't it? That's all I'm getting right now. I'm going to put a little bit here this, of water in here and see what I can bring out of this bad boy. Maybe nothing. Okay, it's already good as it is. So at, you know, when I say it was 113, I mean, it's no kid's game. Kiss of Cola coming through now. Maybe the slight of this, slightest bit. I don't know if I've ever said this before. Yeah, it's one of my favorite things in the world. Coffee. A little bit. Let's see if anything comes through on the palate. Mm -hmm. Got sweeter. Definitely got sweeter. Number one, sweetness hits you now. Pretty good. Before it was just blended in. Now it's kind of forefront. Hmm. And I'm getting crazy as it sounds. I don't know, that's crazy. I'm getting a little coffee. Um, add it to the mix, which I wasn't getting before. So some cedar. Warm cinnamon. Hot cinnamon, I guess. Pipe tobacco. Kiss of cherry. It's good. Now I want to get the single barrel and I want to get the single barrel rye. But at least I got this one. I'm damn happy I done this. And I'm grateful to Ricky. With the beard of knowledge. Now, thanks for being here. Don't forget to sub. And I'm going to see you on the next one. I really am. I got some good stuff sitting in front of me. I'll be doing it here in a minute. 